When it comes to end times, I've noticed that there are generally two camps of people. There are the alarmists that cannot function as a normal person because their every thought and full energy is consumed with the end that's coming. They're either reeling with preparation or are trying with all their might to defuse a bomb. And then there is the pacifist. The pacifist walks through and views life with little stress, with little concern. Hang loose, bro. No worries. It's all good. And, and, and to be real, I kind of like to gravitate toward this latter camp. But Paul, in the last chapter of his first letter to those in Thessalonica, chapter 5, brings a balance between these two camps. He writes that the day of the Lord is coming, verse 2. And yes, there will be sudden destruction, verse 3. But do not stress the timing of this event. For it will come, he says, as a thief in the night. And God did not appoint us, his children, to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, he says in verse 9. But are we to completely hang loose? Take a lot of naps? No way. In verse 6, Paul exhorts us to be awake, sober, and watchful to be stirred in our faith and to be full of hope and certainty of our salvation. Verse 8, And if there is one thing that I have learned through all my years of survey and biblical end-time teachings, it is that we should be ready. And what is true readiness? In verses 12 through 21, Paul gives us more than a dozen exhortations. Read through them all, but here are just a few. Respect those who are over you in the Lord. Be at peace among yourselves. Admonish those who are idle. And help the weak. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Test everything. Hold fast what is good. And certainly abstain from every form of evil. My friends, hang loose and rest in the Lord. But show yourselves ready when he returns. You are greatly loved. So go and greatly loved.